Good morning. She got Puno Abon here. Uh, okay, uh, today's topic I'd like to talk about is uh, a question over uh, modern Arnis uh, experience. Okay, um, this is not about this is not about uh, who's right and who's wrong in modern Arnis. Okay, I uh, I was part of modern Arnis since 1975. So, uh, what changed? Mira, that's the thing. I met Remy Frasas on 1993 over here. Came to a Coral Spring and uh, we met and he visited me to my house. He stayed actually for a few days and then he was, in, he was staying in the hotel. Over the time, he asked me to demonstrate what I know in modernism and I did uh, with Paige in it. You know, Paige is uh, watching and a professor. Adam Castillo with me and uh, some of my student, Alfredo and everybody else. Anyway, that is the story of what when I met back Remy Presses. I never met Remy Presses prior in 86, okay? Because I came over here as not a martial artist. I came over here as a chef to United States. So I don't, I don't came here traveling to teach Arnis, you know, I came here to teach, you know, myself a lesson in life. I'm looking for a job, I got a job, and uh, I used to work in a ship, as a chef. So that's how I get here. I got married and that's how I get a chance to live in the United States, okay? So that is the story. Then on 1993, after uh, three years or uh, four years that I've been teaching Filipino martial art, the remote system, Remy Presas has seminar in Coral Spring, and we went there. I introduced myself, and right away he embraced me. Anyway, needless to say, we got clicked, and then all of a sudden, turned sour when he tried to uh, promote me on something that I'm not on that level yet. I feel that I'm not on level. And then he, he got mad at me. Took uh, my student with me and that's how it is, right? So anyway, let me demonstrate the modern Arnis on 1975. I don't want anybody to think that, you know, uh, that I'm changing things, okay? I'm not. Uh, this is 1975 modern Arnis. Okay. First of all, when we teach modern in 1975, we travel around, and what we teach is we teach 12, okay, I'm just gonna talk about 12 uh, striking technique, okay, the labindalawang taga, or labindalawang, you know, taga, that's what it is, a follow, okay? So, since it's a stick, it's modern is. So the puga alone is uh, totally different uh, to what I see now. You know, the puga is we holding like this, and this is pugai, you know, and then we call them pugai, we call it courtesy. And then we bow the head, we don't bow the head, we bow the head and we open legs. And then this is the fighting stances. First thing you learn is the 12 strike. And this is one, two, three, four, five. Yo, see that? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12, then come back to fighting stance. That is without putwork. Of course, it came from putwork, you said it, Buhat, uh, you know, strike come up, you bring it over here and step forward, one, come back, step forward, two, come back right here and step forward, three, come back right here and step forward, four, then trust, yo, and then we go from here, trust again, and then come from me here, cross to the other side, and then from here we step forward, and then we step back, and then cross again, and cross. Here we go. And then from, from cross right here, we bring it to the back, and here, the, the, the striking to the head, and then come back to, uh, you know, to, uh, Curtis, uh, to fighting stances. So that's the 
basic strike and then there's a basic defense which is the labing dalawang salag or 12 blocking technique which is you could you will also practice it with no, with no footwork so come up from here bantai come in number one here we go um, see number one number two number three number four number five number six number seven you see and then oh, this, number six number seven number eight number nine see or you can put work for nine number ten eleven see that number ten eleven and twelve twelve so bear in mind because i'm trying to to remember this okay <laughs> of course i have not practiced for a while so again when you come up from number one number two number three number four number five you see number six number seven number eight number nine ten okay i'm blocking ten eleven and twelve you see twelve right here so you guys can see it and then that is 1975 and then the uh Salag, you know, block and counter, which is number one. Either you grab the hand and you hit low, or you grab right outside and you hit head, and then come back. Number two, same way, you hit the hand and hit head, or hit the hand and uh, or hit lower. You see, because what happens is when you come up, boom, and hit the thing, block, hit, and boom here a low, yeah, and then. This is number, this is the same as number uh, three and four, so the block is right here now, and then strike. And then you step back right here, you pick it up and strike, you know, as soon as you come back, you come back right here, and you block right here, you hit right here. So it doesn't matter where you grab the stick, either closer to the hand or right there on the outside. And then you have the same way right here, that's the strike, you know, and then you block right here, and you have two options. When you block right here, you grab the hand, you grab this way, or you grab the other side. Both okay, but most of the time they go right here and they strike right here. Either if you're too far, use the stick. If you're too close, you use the punch. So that's how we teach. Then we have the poranyo, and then we have the uh, sinawali, num uh, sino sinawali number one, number one sinawali, and sinawali number two. And then we have the Redonda. That's how modern is in 1975. Of course, poor Anyo. I'm not gonna demonstrate poor Anyo, you know. But when Remy Princess came over here, something changed right away. He want me to use this as a fugai, or as a, as a salute. He want me to, you know, like this. And then, boom, and then over right here. And then when you do the block, you know, strike is the same. Strike is the same, May and Page is going on it, you know, boom, go on. And I'm so familiar with it because that's the same, right? You see? And it's, that's, that's what it is, you know. Knee, knee, strike, strike, and 12. And then you do the block. Now when you do the block, one, two, three, four, five see and six, and then seven and then eight then nine then ten eleven and twelve so we're going at it then he said okay when you when he does now he's twelve he don't even put his hand right on the weapon he just go like this that's number one number two number three Number four, even on number five, he don't even do this anymore. He go right here. Okay, and then six, seven, and then seven, six, seven, then eight, then nine, then ten, then eleven, then twelve. Everything now is not touching the stick. When I when Remy Process was demonstrating on this is ninety three, so it means that's the that's the first thing I change. First no, first thing I see the change. And then he has emphasized, you know, that the stick has to be there before the hand sit, which is very good because it really become more combative than, you know, than we are 
teaching in the Philippines in 1975. Because we well, remember, we're teaching colleges, we're teaching elementary and we're teaching high school uh, children. So our, our, our material is designed for that classroom. And of course, you know, I never use it in my competition to use this block, but it could be used. It could be used because some of my students, especially the lady, that uh, I have some video that all the ladies are doing that. You know, they black and hit, black and hit. It works to them. So it's effective. Rami Presas is a very innovative person. His innovation is changed over the years. He added Sonnet and his tapi tapi has become more, you know, uh, very progressive. You know? And that's what I that's what I noticed. And that's what my take on modernist on 75 and the modernist now. You know, I mean 1990s. I don't want to say it now because I did it, right? But those people that practice modernists over the years with Remy has some influence from the other martial art also and added their flavor in it. That's what it become theirs. They become personalized. You know, uh, when I met uh, Grandmaster uh, uh, Ro uh, Rodel Dago in 1975, I was only 12 years old, right in the Paede, on Paede Ernest Tournament. Grandmaster Rodel Dago stayed with the rest of Baltimore's house together with uh, Nestor, uh, you know, Tolentino. Oh, Boy Tolentino. Uh, yeah, this was Nestor, I guess. That's what they call Boy Tolentino. And uh, Grand, uh, you know, I call senior instructor, senior black belt, Willie Anang, is actually there with pro uh, Professor's wife, which is Rosemary Presas, left that day. But uh, the one left behind is uh, Grandmaster Rodel Dago and uh, you know, Boy Tolentino that uh, trained us that night in Modernist in the house of uh, Resti Baltimore, right in Payete Laguna. So, and I visited, I visited uh, many times in Quezon City uh, with my maestro to the house of Rosemary Presas. I don't know the, the address, you know, because I'm a kid. Remember that? You just go right there. And then Willie Anang actually invited me, bring me to Cavite, because he, he he lives there. I don't know. You know, he he came, but I always meet him in Manila. So I don't know if he live in Manila or he live in Cavite. We always live uh, met in Manila every time that I have to see Willie Anang. In fact, when he died. Uh, a friend of him messaged us, uh, give me a message that your instructor passed. So I was really hesitant to, you know, I, no, I was really bad, feel bad when I learned that, that he passed, you know. So that's my take on modernists and don't use this against me all. You know, I'm not trying to say that I am an expert of modernists, right? I am a practitioner of 1975, and Remy Presas um, and I met on 1993, and that's how I become connected again to modernists. Then, become uh, separated after that. Thank you very much uh, to the question again, and hopefully this is, will help you understand modernists from the past and modernists on 93s. And those people that passed that, they can talk about their modernists now because of the influence of other FMA. Remy Presas is one of the great innovators of Filipino martial art. Thank you very much to your teaching and kudos to all modernists out there, Grandmaster Rodel Dagoc and Grandmaster Renat Tangson and others. Thank you. Bye.